All right. So today we have Adam Teller on the telephone, and we are going to build a custom module using Module Builder. Then we are going to use Studio to add some custom fields and make some modifications to the screens, and we are going to deploy them into a different version of Sugar. Um, so the screen that I have currently is um, Sugar 6.4, uh, and we're going to go ahead and build a module. And Adam, feel free to chime in at any time. I, of course, have not practiced this, so hopefully it works the first time. <laughs> right. If I, if I can suggest, like, as you're adding the customizations, add one or two um, relationships. I mean, any module okay. you like. Um, All right. That's something that I, yeah. All right. So here's just a, a sample version of Sugar. I'm going to go to Admin. We're going to go to Module. Builder. And we are going to create a new package. Package is going to be and what type of Module, would you like? Um, trying to, I think it's um, an issue. Yeah, the little uh, ladybug icon, yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm going to turn all this on. I'll say save. And I will go in and I will um, view a relationship and we can add a relationship. And we'll make it a one to many relationship to, let's say, leads. And actually, I probably wanted it to go the other way. So we'll do a many to one. Leads module has a sub panel and the issues. All right, so I added a relationship. We can add a field. Mm -hmm. I'll save this. And let's go look at the screens. We'll start with the edit view. And we will add a, a new row. Out and we'll have our test field. We'll go there. And we'll sync it to the detail view. And we'll say save. And that's the basics of building our module. I'll save this. And so what we'll do now is to test it in our environment. I will deploy it into our environment. I've done nothing special at this point.
All right, so now I should be able to see that we have my issues as a module. I have no data, so I will create one. And it has a relationship to leads. It's my F field. I can pop up a lead here. Tie it to Adam. Okay, so I created a simple module called My Issues. Next, what we actually want to do is add a, um, some fields through Studio instead of Module Builder. And I will go to Studio. And I'll add a field. And what I noticed is I didn't like the way my layouts look, so I'll go edit my layout. I actually want the subject to be closer to the top. And I'll add a new row. I'll add my studio field here. My work log up here. I'll back. Save. Now if I go back to my issue, we take a look at it. I should have my studio field, my work log. I should hit edit it. The screens have been updated. So I can add data. I still don't necessarily like the way that it looks, so I can go back to Studio and make changes because I realize work log is also a text area. So I'm going to go into here and I will take it down. All right, so I made some changes. So now, the first thing that I want to do is I want to go to Module Builder so that I can take the module demonstration or all the package and all of its modules, and I'm going to make it so that um, I can install it into a new version of Sugar. So I'm going to publish this, and what it's going to do is build the package so that it can be installed into another version of Sugar but it's only installing the module, not installing my customization. Next, I need to go to Studio, which I only have to do once. Next, I'm going to go to Studio, and I'm going to export my customizations that I have done, and I am going to export my issues, and I'm going to tell it that I want to Okay, so the package name does not have to be an exact match. No. It could be, be anything I wanted. 